welcomed with open arms. Some even received a call so from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau himself. The Syrian refugees who arrived in Canada a year ago are now facing their share of difficulties. Among them, 50-year-old Fahid Fatou came with his wife and the two children after they fled the war-battered city of Aleppo via Beirut in 2012. Fahed Fatou arrived in Canada with his family at the end of 2015 after fleeing war-torn Syria. Justin Trudeau's new Liberal government has resettled more than 35,000 Syrian refugees. But financial support from private sponsors and the government will soon end, just one year after their arrival. Fahed doesn't have a job in Canada. He used to be a doctor in Aleppo, but here in Quebec, it isn't likely he will ever be able to practice. There are too many problems for me to get the equivalent degree and work as a physician. Fahed is not the only refugee who has to start all over again. NGOs are limited in their ability to help because the government is very strict about the recognition of equivalence of degrees obtained in other countries. Among the refugees, there are still a lot of professionals. These people have to give up the possibility of ever finding a job at the level they had back in Syria before the civil war. Refugees are offered free French lessons in certified schools. Fahed and his wife Julie both struggle with the language. Their children are already fluent and attend public school in French. Officials say this is common. Between a quarter and a third of Syrian refugees are children. I meet these children and they already speak the language very well. So this is the future. For the others, we're constantly helping them. But despite the difficulties, Fahad is confident he made the right choice for his kids. It's life for the kids. Canada, it's the country of freedom, of peace, of the future. It's like winning the lottery. Even though Fahed's wife, Julie, hasn't worked for more than a decade, she plans to train to work in a kindergarten. For now, she's caring for her sick mother, who is also able to come to Canada. Fahed plans to become a hospital technician. There are many challenges ahead for the Fatou family, but Fahed is putting his hope in the future of his children.